Good everyone, hello and welcome to Try 2. Uh, it's Monday, November 30th, and by golly, we're going to party. So let's start our attempt here. And so the first thing is going to be a uh, thing that's just up for these first couple of days, just to remind you about virtual classes. Uh, please do not do this assignment before you have live virtual class. So if you're watching this video, that means you've already gone to live virtual class or you missed live virtual class, which hopefully you won't miss tomorrow. So uh, these are the times. Set a reminder on your phone. Um, write it down in a notebook or a planner that you have nearby. If you're lucky enough to have like a whiteboard somewhere near where you're working, write down on that. Um, so write that down. We're going to be using Google Meet. So here's a link to Google Meet along with the codes that you will use for that hour. If you put in this code and it says you're not allowed to create your own code or create your own meeting, that means that one of two things happened. One, you typed it in incorrectly. Or two, you typed it in way before the meeting starts. So if the meeting starts at 9.05 and you're typing it in at 8.55, that's 10 minutes before class starts, so the meeting isn't going yet. I'll have it up probably about five minutes before class starts each day, um, so don't put it in until five minutes before. So that is that. But um, bum And then you'll see something that you are used to, the agenda, um, this trimester, we used the words explanation, exploration, and extension in our assignment. We didn't really say that to each other, so that's how we're going to be communicating now or how we're going to be structuring our assignments and talking about it. Attendance question, instruction video, yep, watched it, woohoo! And then, um, what we'll be doing in our Schoology assignments is having explanation. This is going to be a slideshow of what we did in our live virtual class. So explanation, today we're reviewing mass length and volume from first trimester. Um, some video help, um, a video from YouTube. Um, if you haven't been to live virtual class yet, please stop and wait until after live virtual class. This is a slideshow used. In live class, we'll be using Pear Deck to be interactive. To answer the Pear Deck question, please answer them below, not in the slides. So as you go through, this is just the whole slide of what we're doing in class. So this one has a lot more in it than it normally would, just because we have to go over some like expectation things and what stuff is going to be like. Um, but once you get to this explanation slide, these are the slides that we'll be working on today. There's just a few exploration and then just extra stuff that we're doing. So this is just the entire thing right here. So you're going to use these exploration slides to answer these questions down here. So make sure to answer those. And then our exploration, uh, we're going to do another Gizmos Lab today. Uh, so click here to go to the Google Doc assignment. Click here to go to the Gizmos website. For the Gizmos website, if you don't remember your login information, so like I have, I'm already logged in, but you'll have to log in once you get there. Um, make sure to uh, let me know and I can help you figure out what your login information is. But it should be your um, normal school computer username and password. But for the username, you might have WMS. WMS added on to the end of it if you have a common username. So like for me, mine would be E. Coleman, but it would be E. Coleman WMS. But try it out. Let me know if you can't get into it. And then in your fantastic Google Doc assignment today, waiting dance as we wait for it to load. Awesome. So you can also use this blue link to go directly to your fantastic uh, um, Gizmo site. These first four questions, do these before using the Gizmo, um, and then you have some other uh, two pages worth of Gizmos. So submit that when you are done. That was the exploration. And then the extension. Uh, choose one of these options to do. So using the Scratch programming, this one is actually extremely cool. So you know how when you open up like a Google or a new tab, like the Google um, logo always looks different because there's like a different artist each day. You can create your own using this tool. And then obviously Cargo Bridge Builder. Um, if you're having trouble playing, uh, make sure Flash is allowed. And uh, that's that. And then don't forget to do your star slides. And then check that you have done all these things. 
and you are done. If you have any questions, please let me know um, and I would love to help you out. Oh, and then just because we're here, I might as well just show you what Schoology looks like this trimester. It looks pretty similar. Um, I jazzed this up a little bit. So this also has all the information for Google Meets and virtual classes. Um, obviously, it has all of your daily assignments in there. In the resource folder, I have this song request form. So if you want to request a song to play at the beginning of class, submit that there. Some frequently asked questions. Hopefully these will have already been, already been answered by Try2, but if not, these are questions that people asked in Try1. Uh, technology how-to videos. Mr. Oleski, who is the Puma social studies teacher, created tons of how-to videos on random technology things with the Chromebook. Um, so go ahead and watch those if you want. And then uh, fun science activities and games. Uh, so these are the same along with added to from the first try. Uh, so check these out if you would like. And then the completed folder has everything from try one. So you can go in and look at stuff from try one. Um, you can't reattempt anything, but you can look back at everything. All right. And I think that's that now. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I hope we had a lot of fun in virtual class. Bye.